Hi team, just uh, thought I would give you a quick update and a quick video message seems to be a nice easy way to share the information with you. Don't want to keep you too long, I just thought that before term starts again and just have a little check in, let you know what we're up to and what you can expect from us next term. So I'll send you the agenda as I did last time, that seemed to be quite popular. So number one on the agenda, well-being and mental health. Just want to keep reiterating that that is absolutely at the top of our priority list. Uh, we really miss your children. We're doing everything that we can to keep them engaged and excited about school um, and we're really relishing having the content the contact with them that we can have um, via your emails and videos and pictures so thank you for sending those in we will continue to make sure that we keep in touch with every family and make sure that everybody is okay uh, we understand that circumstances are different for every family and are also quite transient at this time so if there's anything going on in your house or your family that you think we should be aware of or that you would like any support with at all then uh, please do get in touch we're absolutely absolutely here for you and we will do everything we can to help. Okay, so number two, review and evaluation. We talked about this last time and made some changes. Thank you for your feedback on that. My, uh, I hear that you are enjoying the new way of doing things with slightly less content coming out because absolutely we want this to be manageable. So the government have produced some guidelines now which was not available before the Easter holidays. Um, if anything, it's quite light touch. The official curriculum has been suspended. They are suggesting that schools try to keep in touch with their students and keep them learning. Uh, and what they've said is that that should be done in the way that each school feels will work best uh, for their situation and community. So thank you for your feedback. We feel that what we are doing is working uh, for all of you. Um, and I hope that that continues really. Please do keep telling us whether or not you are finding that best because if we can make any changes as we go, we absolutely are willing to do that. Remember that not all of the activities are compulsory. In fact, none of them are compulsory. We would love you to do at least some of that with your children because we think it's really good for them. But if it's not working for you, that's absolutely no problem at all. Uh, the government have published guidelines on their expectations and really what that is is a list of websites that children could log on to. We think that the YouTube clips and the direct teaching from uh, the people who they're used to and familiar with is more effective for the children and we hope that you agree. So we're going to carry on with that. So what we've talked to the um, teachers about is actually trying to move the work into slightly um, a longer term thinking. So this is absolutely a marathon, not a sprint, is what we have learnt with this. And for the last two weeks of term, we were pretty much living lesson to lesson. We need to have a bit of a longer view of that. So we're going to chunk the work for uh, English and maths in particular um, into units that will last at least a week. Um, so with that in mind, what we have agreed is that we will give the staff some time during the first week of term uh, to get all of their preparation done for that because actually that takes a really long time to get that together. Normally during school time we would give them some time out of class to be able to do that so we're basically giving them the equivalent. So the work that the children will see in the first week back will be a topic based unit um, and that is going to be uh, run and led by myself and Mrs Robertson together who are putting together a week's worth of work where the children from each class will be able to access it in a way that is right for their age and stage of their development. Uh, we'll keep to the same format that they're used to, they won't see their teachers that week because we're giving them some time to go off and plan for the rest of the term. We're anticipating this lasting until at least May half term, it's a five week half term, so a week of topic based work and then four weeks of usual English and maths which takes us up to May half term. Okay, so uh, item number five, projects and the Friday fun days. Thank you to Mrs Robertson who has uh, created a new project sheet for the children. It's the same as we had last term except that she has um, slightly improved things by giving some examples of things that the children might want to get involved in that are linked to different areas of the curriculum. So that way we can uh, offer something for geography, history, some of the arts as well, so a whole range of things. 
and the Friday Fun Day with the teaching assistants will continue. What we are working hard to do is make sure that those two things complement each other and that on a Friday you're not ambushed by children needing to all of a sudden get paint out or bake things or things that are harder to uh, manage while you're busy doing other things. So we will offer some ideas of things like that that could happen but those will be on your project sheet and Friday Fun Day should be things that hopefully more so your children can pick up and have a go at pretty much independently. Hope that's helpful. Number six, Mr Bavington will continue with his PE challenges. I think that's been quite useful and well received by everybody. What he's also going to start to do is some uh, direct skills teaching. So once a week he'll be posting something relevant for the younger children and something for the older children that they can access at any point during the week is good for them and I think he's starting with cricket skills because we're into the summer term. Okay, number seven, Mr. Ba Mrs. Bailey will continue with her challenges because they've been popular as well. We're gonna strip that back slightly so that she's going to set one on a Monday and one on a Wednesday, same as before, one for the younger children, one for the older children, and answers will be revealed on a Thursday. Great way of collecting house points for the children. Just wanted to make you aware in number eight of a conversation that I had with the staff around staff availability and really just planning for the worst um, in terms of what would happen if any of the staff were sick and uh, not available for work or were busy looking after anybody in their families. We're lucky that we haven't had very much of that so far, but uh, we need to be prepared just in case it does happen. So what we've agreed is that we will be um, honest with the children. One of the things that we have done, you might have noticed from the very beginning, is when you get an email back from the class email account, it isn't signed by an individual person. And one of the main reasons for that is the, so that people aren't quite so um, noticeable if they're not around. However, if you're used to seeing direct teaching from people, we will make sure that we always explain to the children why that person isn't available. They're used to at school having cover lessons and uh, cover will still happen if people are off doing other parts of their job, paperwork or planning or other admin. But if that person is not able to work because they are sick, we will make the children aware of that because we think it's better to be honest. But what we're really hoping is that before too long, they'll be back to work and they'll be able to see that as well, which is really important too. Okay, number nine, we have been asked by the trust to start some live lessons and link ups with the children. Um, and at the moment, we're looking really carefully into how to make that work most effectively. I'd really appreciate your feedback on that. We're going to give it a go. We're starting to put some information together that will come out to you. It is going to be optional because I think that is uh, important because it's not going to work for everybody. If you are interested in taking part in that, there will be the information that you can access, but we would really like to hear from you about what you think is working about that or uh, any concerns that you might have because it's important that we take those into account. Basically, we're going to trial it and see how it goes, so feedback is really important. Okay, number 10, I thought we would just touch on reopening. So you've probably seen this in the press anyway. The latest uh, information and guidance from the Department for Education basically says schools will remain closed until further notice. They are not willing at this stage to put any time limit on that whatsoever. As I said before, we're definitely going to be closed by the look of it until uh, May half term is our anticipation. It's likely to go on longer than that. Um, just to make you aware, we don't get any updates before you do. We're watching the same government press releases as you and we're receiving that information at the same time. Obviously, we cannot let the children back into school until government guidelines tell us that it's safe to do so. But what I do want to reassure you is that as soon as we can get those children back into school, in whatever way we possibly can, we absolutely will do that. Whenever that happens, in whatever way we are able to do it, we will get our school back together, get our children and our community back together, because that's really important to us. Okay, so finally, I don't have any other business. I'm not intending necessarily to carry on with these unless there are particular things to update you on. But if there are things that you would like us to cover, either for the parents or for the children, please do keep those emails coming in because hopefully you've seen that we're really quite responsive for those. We want this to work for you. This isn't about standards. This isn't about anybody checking the school to see what a good job we're doing. We're in it for you and the children. And so uh, let us know what we can do and we'll absolutely do what we can. Okay, speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.